not gonna say Alvin's like. I don't think Alvin's that great of like an edge guard. So I feel like maybe Mario Bros. can get some second chances and actually like throw some combos that can do some damage. Yeah, um, uh, that's not gonna do it. But um, Falcon, Falcon's actually one of the characters that edge guards pick up pretty well. I think. Um, because there's like an option select in certain in certain positions and uh, things, uh, Falcon can just lay up ledge and then do like a rising nair or something and simply react to, to an option. So for sure. Uh, Having said that, though, uh, oh, dude, that, that, that's a true combo. That single hit fair to um. I love how he ran across the stage to go get it. Yeah, dude, Falcon's crazy. I feel like everything works. I mean, at, at this top level of play, like it feels like when you watch anyone's play, it's everything works. <laughs> I feel like it's great. Look at that! He went behind him after oh, the match. Oh, dude, and fair. Oh my yo, lord! Yo. <laughs> Alright, so, so Mario Watts goes for the standard. Alvin's like, nah, I'm not having it. I'm gonna DI behind you. What? No. And, and Mario Bros. blood's definitely pumping in his body. Dude, dude, he's, Alvin was like, no, you can't stand me. The and, and then Mario Bros. is like, fine, I won't stand there, dude. I'm just gonna steal the that I've ever seen. What is that? Um, so, for those who are new to the scene or don't know, uh, Mario Bros. was originally a Falcon Man. Um, I did not know this. Oh, he's always a big person. Yeah, no, he's, uh, he's originally a Falcon player. Um, and he's like, a lot of people. Dunk. Wow. Dunk. Or two of Mario Bros. Oh, that's an Alvin's that's a, like a old school hard reading type of player. So, so. That, was a, that was a really bad ass match by uh, I know what I'm saying. I think that's really Alvin's play style. Like, he's super good at reading. This need to be close to you that you just read you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah dude, uh, Alvin's like impossible to grab too, which is why I'm What the hell is what? that? What? <laughs> What's that? What? What? Uh, <laughs> excuse me. That's crazy, bro. Goes up into the down air, or he has to like, it. It's so crazy how you know Alvin did body Mario Bros. Now like, you got Mario Bros. Dude, but let's not won. forget to sell Mario Bros. Mario Bros. had a crazy lead, and then Alvin was like, "Yo, you forgot that I'm Alvin." Bro. And then <laughs> it just turned around real quick. Um, you forgot who you were playing, or you just remembered. Who you yeah, were you just remembered. Oh, wow, a four stock, dude. What? Um, let's go, Mario Bros. Bias. Alvin is a Falcon. Uh, yeah, so Alvin knows Falcon, so that's why he should be able to beat Falcon pretty easily because he knows him so well. Alvin is a Falcon, he has a Kobe. I wonder. And I don't think Alvin's down to, for the uh, point flip. I don't think Alvin's down. For yeah, what, what happened there is Mario Gloss didn't want to get uh, in the Falcon video with the Kirby Falcon match. Uh, he was worried about Alvin's counter picks, so he said, okay, I'm going to play safe with Because he probably liked his odds better than Falcon than Falcon did. And Falcon did a risky this top of the play. Uh, you know, like, there's like that meme that Falcon does are a coin flip, and uh, obviously it's not a simple stat, but there is some truth behind that. Uh, it's a very volatile matchup. It's, I think the reason why there has some truth to it is because it only takes one opening to win. Yeah, dude, so we, we've talked about if you, you know, your skill levels are way different, and, you know, that person still reads you once. Yeah, we talked about how in Pekin Dittos you need to win neutral over and over. And Falcon that's why it's so... Falcon Dittos is not like that. Um, honestly, in, in any given Falcon Dittos, there might be like five or six neutral wins the whole game. Uh, so for the person who wins. Mario Bros is like, okay, I'm sitting in grand finals. I'm in the losers, so I, I don't really have... Like, I can't take those chances, you know? I'm going to go with something a little more consistent. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm not good. Dude, that was so good by Alvin. He, like, put him like a hundred times a hundred options. Yeah. So like it's it's ridiculous to yeah. I mean, it's Mario Gloss. One it's place not, to go. It's not some random scrub he gets Mario Gloss and Alvin is just playing with so much confidence. Uh, and that's uh, one of the keys to Smash I always tell like people that are kinda of like, never second guess yourself. The confidence is really key in this game. I completely agree. That was um that was like something that I dropped really cool. Like when I talk to people there, like mentality is huge. Yes. In this game I think it's the biggest 
Um, this is looking real rough. This is looking real rough. Uh, he just feels lost in the game, though, dude. Like, other than the first few stocks in the first game of Dirt Miles, uh, I just gotta be blunt. We've kind of just seen Margolos get uh, wrecked left and right. Um, he does not have an answer for the game, though, yet. That's why I say, when you play Alvin, you just feel lost. Like, no matter what matchup it is, no matter who you are, you, you, at some point, you do feel a little bit of one right now. Yeah. And, and it's so crazy because, uh, I think the Mexican. Mexicans traditionally are very good at picking those, but so are the Peruvians. And we're just the Peruvian metagame is just way better than Mexicans. And I think the reason why the Peruvian game is so good is because they have more they have more space and they, they die do. less quickly than edge guards, so their spacing is way better. Yeah, if you're in Shatter, maybe 64, uh, Alvin is from Peru, which is it's really random, but they're probably the second strongest uh, scene in Japan. And there are so many players there that would just body all our top players. It's crazy over there. Um, yeah, they're like worst players, probably like close to one of our best players. Yeah, and, but the thing is, uh, it's, it's very, uh, they all play high tier. So that's why sometimes you see the movie is so huge or something like that. Uh, but they're very good at the high tier matches. Um, which is why that we've seen how and beat people like, uh, like Marguas and Boom. But can, can struggle versus, uh, like Don Amano, for example, like a random. Or, or Prince, or whoever the Japanese version would be. Um, who was it? Oh, Karaba and Prince. Oh, yeah, Karaba, that was the same. I knew I knew the same. So, um, at this point in the game, I don't. If you're in Margos right now, what are you thinking? How, how are you mixing this up? Because. Like we've talked about, uh, Alvin just makes you look lost, and I, I gotta, I gotta wonder what's going on through Marwas's head. I think what Mario, what's going through Marwas's head right now is just that he can do it. He knows he can do the double kill matchup. But he just knows how to play it right now. And this is closer than it has been. Um, like uh, Marwas is doing better this game than he was towards the end of the finals, but this is still hard to come back. Uh, Alvin gets one strong conversion, and the game is really over. And we see the confidence and ability to edge guard too. So if he gets like a back throw, this could be the whole, uh, the whole uh, game. Uh, dash tag, dude. Like I want to say that that was an accident, but the way that he was playing, like I wouldn't even be surprised to do that. Alvin's one of those people that when you sit down next to him and you play him, you kind of feel like this man's aura coming off. Dude, right? I, I feel the same way. Oh, yeah. you know, like I don't know. There's these certain people where like. You can just feel it. Like, right. but, like the other night when I was watching Revan and Cruz, like there was just a horror coming off Revan when he was like destroying everybody in Cruz. Alright, so Alvin is down two. He's in losers. Um Yo, oh, give me one. Raz, grab me one. Grab me one. This is uh Alvin is going Kirby. And Margwas is countering. Wow. Like, wait, what? What? Mar wait, Alvin chose first, so Alvin chose Kirby, and then Margwas countered the Kirby with Falcon. You know why? I think because I think. Uh, did, wait, did, do you think they mixed up the the counter pick order? So it, maybe, but in my opinion, at the most highest level of Smash, punish game doesn't mean too too much. It's all about the neutrals. Oh wait, wait, no, Mar. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah. No, so sorry. I think maybe that uh, Margwas felt like. Uh, no. I say grab one as you grab like seven thousand. Everybody's um, happy. Dude, Mario Gloss, uh so this this is a mashup that um has changed over the years, I think. Uh, oh my god, that up tilt is so dumb. Dude, you see Mario Gloss just grabbing from these up tilts. Uh, when I don't the, know if that's the, like, in, the, in the earlier possible. meta of this game, a lot of people uh, didn't know how to play Falcon. They played a very ground and play style of Falcon. So of course he got wrecked by Kirby. And Falcons over the years have gotten really good at platform movement. Um and they figured out ways to counter this Kirby. I remember when Roka Danshan came in, Apex 2014 it was. Uh, I don't even know that name. He must be like <laughs> he's, an, he's an old school Japanese player. Um, and he was the first one we really saw grabbing through Kirby up tilt. And people were like, what? You can do that? You can grab through Kirby up tilt? Wait, wait, wait. wait. So you're saying while Kirby's up tilt is Kirby going, can up tilt frame it. perfect as fast as he can. And Falcon is fast enough to grab him between. Wow, I never knew that. And nobody knew about that in North America. And then Roka Danshan comes over and shows it. And then you had Falcons, like New Age Falcons, like let's say like Standard or uh, Stranded. Who had, Dash Attack. Who had really good platform movement. But this matchup has really changed over the years. And I think a lot of players are starting to say it's 50-50. Oh, I, what a down tilt. That was crazy. Yeah, I really like the technology we found out while uh, if Kirby's spanning up tilt, you can Dash Attack into it and have priority after so you can get a free grab. Yeah, people, people. Oh, dude. Oh, just ran in and grabbed. That's what I'm talking about. Dude, he's, done that, he's done that like three times this game already. 
Um, and that's something that we saw Roka just do. Uh, the meta's constantly oh, changing. Oh, what? Was that a fit? Oh, hentai! I'm glad that at a high level, though, Mario Bros. is doing good in this matchup. Because I do think that a lot of players have to whine about this matchup. But yeah, and, they're, and, really and, and that Falcon bad. players that struggle against Kirby, they're watching this right now, and they're, and they're taking notes. Yeah, because uh, people always say this matchup's like unwinnable. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's you can never play. It's like it's like. Oh my lord! Dude. Oh! I just broke your speakers. I just broke. Wait, were they? Wait, Alvin was Falcon that whole time.